Now to this, a tragedy on top of Mount Baldy. A mother of four and a very experienced hiker has died. She didn't realize she was seconds from her terrifying final moments. How could she? The mountains were her second home, and Crystal Paula Gonzalez Landis was born to be the dancing, hiking queen. She could feel the icy wind burning her lungs with every deep breath. Freezing currents slammed against her face, and all her muscles ached from an arduous summit to the snow-capped peak. The only thing interrupting the pure white snow were miles of bushy green pine trees. As she looked out at the picturesque view below her, she thought, This is where I'm most at peace. She knew that the beauty found in nature is worth every grueling second it takes to get there. Some might say it is even worth dying for. But don't let the beauty of nature fool you. It is a deadly mistress that will chew you up and spit you out in a second. Nature does not care about your suffering, whether you are surfing the wave or tumbling on the reef below. Nature will keep on going. For Crystal Paula Gonzalez Landis, or as she was known online, the dancing hiking queen. She was about to learn that even years of experience is not enough to trump the power of the mountains. Join us as we uncover the chilling details behind the hiking queen's death, as well as other lives that came to an abrupt end on the cliffs of Mount Baldy. This mountain has claimed many resilient souls like her before, and it will keep taking lives as long as people try to dominate its harsh yet breathtaking landscapes. Stay with us to find out what makes this gorgeous mountain so brutal. Do a quick news search of Mount Baldy and you will piece together a grim story told through the countless articles of people gone missing, extreme weather warnings, and recovered bodies. It's estimated that over a hundred search and rescue operations have taken place since 2020, with 11 deaths occurring, including that of the brave hiking dancing queen, Crystal Gonzalez. In a tragic and strange coincidence, another hiker died in a similar fashion in the same two weeks as Crystal. And then, just a few days later, a famous actor went missing while hiking alone and was only found five months down the line. We will discuss that strange turn of events further in the video. The question remains, why has Mount Baldy taken so many lives? Mount Baldy, otherwise known as Mount San Antonio, offers views and trails unlike any other mountain in the area. It's the highest peak in the San Gabriel Mountains, located in Los Angeles County. It is a prominent landmark that towers over Southern California, contributing to scenic views in the area. Many avid hiking enthusiasts underestimate the dangers of this magnificent range. You see, Mount Baldy isn't just one mountain with a static difficulty and risk factor. It's made up of over half a dozen routes with hundreds of variations, ranging from easy amateur trails to expert routes where one mistake means you will fall 1,000 feet to your death. And this all changes drastically from season to season. In winter, the snow melts during the warmer days and refreezes in the sub-zero temperatures, creating what are the most treacherous conditions for any hiker, whether they're experienced or not. These are called ice chutes, and they're a mixture of snow and ice that offers zero traction. Once you slip on this ice, there's no going back up. So any assumptions about the terrain could be a fatal mistake. Regardless, many climbers agree the views are worth the wind, the cold, and the dangerous trek. For Crystal, hiking was not just a hobby, but a way of life. The dangers hidden in the treacherous routes of Mount Baldy were not enough to deter her from the peace and calm she found there instead. As an experienced hiker, she proved she could hike and climb through all kinds of weather. No one doubted her ability to climb safely and responsibly. Crystal Paula Gonzalez Landis was born on the 29th of June, 1965, and raised in Covina, Los Angeles. It's a part of the city that's further from the glamorous lifestyle and beaches of L.A. and closer to the natural hillside hiking ranges that Crystal got used to frequenting as a child. It's clear she had a passion to be in the wild mountains, likely stemming from her childhood, where she grew up with them all around her. Beyond her desire to be a part of nature, Crystal had an interest in pushing her mind and body from a young age. Through her teens and into her 30s, she was a dedicated athlete who competed in marathons. 
She also quit smoking to focus on her health and add a few more years to her life. But a minor back injury prevented her from her running routine, and ultimately, she could no longer take part in marathons. Without the running that she loved, Crystal took up hiking to fill the gap in her life. This is where her journey up countless peaks truly started. She quickly took to the hiker's life, going on daring adventures through various mountain ranges. Over the years, she began to document her journey online. As a social person with a zest for life, she wanted to share her experiences and inspiration with the world. It started off as posts meant for close friends, but she quickly gained traction in the world of social media. Her Instagram and Facebook accounts blew up, with many people commenting on the beautiful scenery, as well as her own beauty. She became known as an inspirational figure, with many of her followers commenting about her bravery and dedication to hiking through nature. It was at this time that she picked up the endearing nicknames The Dancing Hiking Queen and Hiker for Life. Crystal's thirst for adventure took her to extreme peaks all over America. On a trip backpacking through the Sierras, Crystal conquered Mount Whitney, the highest mountain in the contiguous United States, and the Sierra Nevada. She hiked through the Grand Canyon and enjoyed local hikes to the Hollywood sign for peace and quiet. She also hiked to the peaks of Thunder Mountain, Iron Mountain, Mount Wilson, Potato Mountain, and Mount Rubido. Regardless, Mount Baldy, the one that eventually took her life, was always her favorite. She had hiked up the famous peak countless times and developed a unique connection with the wilderness around her. She knew it like the back of her hand, which made her death come as even more of a surprise. In a video posted on the 4th of January, 2023, just four days before her fatal accident, Crystal can be seen playfully throwing snow around with a beautiful view of the rising sun, lighting up the breathtaking landscape. She captioned the picture, saying, It was a magical morning. I am truly grateful I got to play in the snow and enjoy another epic view. It's clear as day that the hiking dancing queen was loved by all those around her, and the messages she shared helped people reconnect with nature and their love of the outdoors. One sad part about her story is the negative comments she received online. Many say she was chasing clout in a dangerous and careless way, with the pictures being a vanity project that got her attention. This may be many people's assumption at first glance, but if you dig a little deeper, the stories from people who knew her paint a picture of a generous and kind lady who was always willing to help those around her. She had a zest for life that she wanted to share with the world. She built many genuine connections with her fan base and those she bumped into on the slopes of hiking trails. Scrolling through her Facebook page is like taking a step onto a mountain range. It is filled with spectacular views of Mount Baldy, as well as many other trails that she conquered. In our busy, bustling lives, we forget the importance of our connection with nature. Crystal was one of the few who did not forget about this connection, and she was actually willing to share it with the world. Unfortunately, nature doesn't give a d if you're an inspirational figure, or even a famous actor. It gives life, and it has the ability to take it away. The hike to the peak of Mount Baldy is about four and a half miles long, but with its steep elevation, it's a tough hike for many. The rocky slopes in the summer turn into steep slides of ice and snow in the winter. And there's a lot more to winter mountain travel than just grabbing a bottle of water and hitting the trail. To make matters worse, it's bald near the peak, hence the name. The tree line stops a couple hundred feet from the top, so if you slip from here, there's nothing to slow your slippery descent. This is likely what happened to Jarrett Choi. He was the first victim in a tragic three-part trilogy that ended with an actor going missing. On the 28th of December, 2022, the 43-year-old man from Los Angeles was hiking the Ice House Canyon Trail when he slipped and fell. Rescue teams tirelessly searched for two days, but extreme weather and icy conditions hampered their efforts. He was found dead on December 30th. A few days later, on the 5th of January, Mount Baldy Resort posted an update, explaining the mountain was closed on Thursday due to extreme weather. Crystal shared this image on social media with the caption, Stay safe. It's heartbreaking to think that she was completely aware of the dangers held within Mount Baldy, even going so far as to warn others and keep them safe. In another post on the 6th of January that foreshadowed her horrific fall, Crystal showed viewers firsthand what an ice chute is, explained why it's dangerous, and showed how to safely navigate them. 
It was captioned, This stuff is dangerous. Beware hikers. On the 8th of January, 2023, the dancing hiking queen posted what would be her last video on Facebook, and it was only moments before her death. In the video, you can hear the crunch of snow under her feet. It was the early hours of the morning, so nothing was visible except for Crystal and her bright headlamp. In a joyful tone, she says, It's go time. Lots of people are out today. On this particular hike, Crystal was not alone. She was with a hiking party, and they had made it a considerable distance up the 10,000-foot elevation. Low cloud cover descended on the group, and they collectively decided that going back down would be the smart thing to do. With freezing temperatures setting in and heavy winds battering the group, they began their icy descent. Crystal did not realize it would be her final trip down the mountain that she loved so much. In these conditions, even the experienced climber becomes stunned by the torrent of icy wind and low visibility. The Baldy Bowl is the largest section of the mountain without trees or obstructions. Crystal was on the rim of this bowl when she slipped and fell. Taken by a sheet of falling ice and snow, Crystal could do nothing to stop herself from the fate that awaited below. It's estimated that she traveled 500 to 700 feet before slamming into a tree. Within a few moments, the Fontana Sheriff's Dispatch received a call from the California Office of Emergency Services, relaying an emergency message broadcast from a Garmin inReach device. The patrol helicopter 40 King responded to the incident almost immediately, but the treacherous conditions over the mountain made a landing impossible. The dancing hiking queen lay at the bottom of a steep and icy hill. Her head and body were badly battered from the fall against hard ice and the tree responsible for her sudden stop. She was surrounded by fellow hikers trying to keep her warm and render whatever aid they could. Her severe injuries and continued exposure to the elements meant their efforts only provided comfort in her last horrifying few minutes alive. On their fifth attempt, the rescue team finally managed to get under the thick clouds basking on the mountainside. They lowered a medic from the rescue craft in the hopes of treating her on the field and getting her to better conditions. Once he arrived on scene, the realization dawned on the medic that the slope angle, combined with the slippery ice, meant there was no way they could carry Crystal down the mountain. The only option left was to construct a rope system to hoist the badly injured hiker out of Mount Baldy. However, by the time they had made this system, it was too late. Crystal had already succumbed to her severe injuries, compounded by the harsh elements. Once the weather had cleared, her body was flown to the sheriff's aviation headquarters and handed over to the San Bernardino County Coroner's Office. Her various social media pages tell of the loss that was experienced within her hiking community. Comments of admiration for this fearless spirit turned to memorial pages, with everyone sharing just how deeply they felt this loss. You were one of the nicest hikers out there, so kind and encouraging. Glad we ran into you. R.I.P. Crystal. You were the queen of hiking. So beautiful, so strong, so friendly. You were the one I looked up to and always wanted to be like you. In another tragic twist of fate, only a few days after Crystal's death, another person went missing in the deadly grips of the bald giant. On January 13th, the famous actor Julian Sands also went for a hike in the Mount Baldy region. When he never returned home that night, his wife reported him missing. Rescue teams searched for five months before his remains were found. Civilian hikers found his body on the 24th of June and promptly contacted officials. His exact cause of death still has not been confirmed due to the condition of his body. Three years before his death, Julian Sands remarked, Climbing mountains. A lot of the time people who don't climb mountains assume it is about this great heroic sprint for the summit, and somehow this great ego-driven ambition. But actually, it's the reverse. It's about supplication and sacrifice and humility when you go to these mountains. It's not so much a celebration of oneself, but the eradication of one's self-consciousness. And so, on these walks, you lose yourself. You become a vessel of energy and harmony, hopefully, with your environment. Julian, Crystal, and the many others who tragically lost their lives on Mount Baldy shared this passion. The last post on Crystal's Facebook page is from January 11, 2023. It was posted by her family, thanking everyone for their outpour of support and directing them to their GoFundMe page to help raise funds for the funeral service. 
Crystal Paula Gonzalez Landis was 56 years old, and she left behind four driven daughters who speak of the inspiration their mom left them with. Her oldest daughter, Jasmine Rosado, set up the GoFundMe page and left this touching tribute for her mother, Crystal Paula Gonzalez Landis. Many know her as the Dancing Hiking Queen, or Hiker for Life. She's known in the community for her fearless hikes and daily dose of inspiration. More importantly, she was an amazing mother of four, a sister, and a friend to everyone she met. She is the personification of strength, love, and beauty. She was a beacon of light to everyone who knew her, and was always ready to lend a helping hand. During this difficult time, the family would appreciate any donations to help lay her to rest. More than anything, we just ask that you please share any memories or pictures you shared with her. We hope her life, her story, and pictures can give the love we shared with her to someone else. When you hike out into the harsh terrain of any wilderness, you have to be aware of whatever consequences you may face. Authorities constantly warn people not to go into Mount Baldy unprepared, but sometimes accidents happen, and innocent, well-meaning lives are lost. But whether you hike or not, we can all take an important lesson from these hikers, and it came from one of the Dancing Hiking Queen's Facebook posts. Life is a series of thousands of tiny little miracles. Notice them.